Hello there. So today I'm going to be answering a question that was actually sent to me by one of my readers. And one of my readers um, asked me the question, how do you plan out your novels? Like, do you have an idea of how your novel is going to go? And do you know what all the different <laughs> plot twists and, you know, everything that's going to happen when you start out writing? Or do you just sort of like wing it <laughs> as you go through the story and sort of let everything unfold and just see what each new adventure takes you? And that's a really good question, <laughs> something that I wish that I had a better answer for. Because the truth is, I'm not a very organized person at all. Like, it's really difficult for me <laughs> to keep to a schedule or to plan things out. Um, I like making lists, but that's just because I like making lists. I mean, I'm not very good at planning things. Um, but that being said, you can't just jump into a novel and not have any idea about where it's going, because then you're just going to get lost or get sidetracked and your story's going to be kind of all over the place. So that's a really bad idea too. So I guess for me, the best thing to do has been to found, been to find a happy medium of planning and then sort of allowing myself to be carried by the story and carried by the characters and see where they take me. Whenever I start a new novel, I always have an idea or a character that's really vivid in my mind. And I try to follow that idea all the way through to the end. So if I know that my character is going to start the book a certain way, then I usually have an idea of where I want the book to finish. I know what I want the takeaway story of my novel to be. However, a lot of times the individual little steps along the way are really hard to plan out because you never really know what's going to happen once you start writing about this character. So what I usually try to do is I try to write out, usually it's about a page, maybe less than a page, of just where I envision the story going. So I talk about the different themes that are going to come up in the book, um, how the story, how the writing style is going to be, what different characters I want to bring in, and where I envision the story ending. A lot of times my finished novel isn't exactly similar to what I started out writing, you know, when I wrote up my little one page um, summary of the book. But having a place to go back to and to refer to is really important because as I continue writing in the story, sometimes things come up where I think, I'm not sure if I want to take the story in this direction. When I go back and look at my one page write up, I remember, oh yeah, that's the direction I wanted this story to go. So it's really helpful um, as a place to reference and to remember what your original vision was in starting the book. Um, I also just try to remember that the most important part of the story is the characters and not necessarily the plot twist. Y'all have heard me talk about this before, but I think that writing about people instead of events is really important. So if I feel like a character is growing and consequently that's going to make the story change a little bit, then I try to be flexible to that. And I try to realize that the most important thing here is to tell this character's story and to explain to the reader who that character is as a person. And that's way more important than following a certain line of events or, you know, plot sequences or whatever. And lastly, um, I try to remember that I'm reaching towards a goal here. I want my reader to walk away from the story feeling a certain way and having a certain impression. And I have to be constantly keeping that in mind as I'm writing my story. So, for instance, one of my main themes in the story, Chasing Jupiter, is the importance of family and of being true to yourself and of really sticking out and looking out for each other. So all throughout writing that story, I knew that that was the ending message that I wanted my reader to go away with. So as different events happened and different plots unfolded, I constantly asked myself, how is the family, you know, being made important in this plot? How is Scarlett learning to stand up for herself and to stand up for her family? And that really helped me decide what plot twists to follow and what ones to scrap. Um, so at the end of the day, I think you should definitely have a plan. You don't necessarily have to have every single little detail planned out, but you should know where your story is going and know what story your characters are going to be telling. And I think that that'll really help you as you write your story to keep on track and to not get sidetracked by little um, events that may pop up <laughs> throughout your story. So hopefully this helped. And I'd love to hear y'all's ideas on this because obviously it's a topic that I'm still working through myself. So if you have any tips or suggestions, please feel free to let me know. And I'll see you next week.